fisherman caught weird creature bursts into tears when he discovers what it is. Anyone who loves to fish knows that this is one activity that requires patience, a lot of it. So when Dennis, an avid fisherman, didn't catch anything the whole day, he wasn't really too disappointed. It was a slow day, you win some and lose some. At least it was great, quiet afternoons spent outdoors. But suddenly, his fishing rod started to pull, and it was tugging especially hard at the line. He had been fishing in these waters for years, but hadn't quite experienced anything like it. Dennis has been fishing with his granddad since he only was five years old. He has been a fishing enthusiast ever since. What was so surprising was that he caught the monster at his favorite fishing spot. Dennis often went on his fishing trip with one or more of his buddies. They would drive their small boat out to a location and spend all day together. But today, on the death day of his granddad, none of his friends were available. Dennis ran out of options, so he ended up posting an invitation on a forum board for local fishermen, asking if somebody wanted to join him out on the water today. Dennis got a message in his inbox from someone who had only joined the forum two weeks ago. He would have liked to find somebody with more experience, but nobody else paid any attention to his message. In remembrance of his granddad, Dennis wanted to go to their favorite spot. He was always guaranteed a couple of good catches here, and he thought this might be fun for the rookie. After an hour of driving, Dennis finally arrived at the bar. He walked inside and instantly felt very uncomfortable. He wanted to find the rookie and leave this place as soon as possible. But suddenly, Dennis saw a casually dressed middle-aged man with a beard. Dennis got a weird feeling about this guy. It all sounded like an odd lie. And besides, Drake doesn't even look like a fisher. Dennis told him he would teach him a thing or two. Dennis still didn't completely trust Drake, but maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Drake started telling Dennis about his newly found great fishing career on the ride over to the lake. Drake began to brag about his skills and told Dennis all about how he should be fishing and what rods and lures he needed to use. Dennis tried to be nice but he was getting more and more annoyed at the rookie. Who did he think he was, trying to tell him what to do? He learned all his skills from the greatest fisherman he knew, his granddad. Out on the water, Dennis was ready to show that he didn't need any advice from anyone. While Drake was reeling in fish after fish, Dennis could not even get a guppy on the boat. How is this possible? As Drake was pulling in another catch just minutes later, Dennis quickly changed his lure to the one he stole from Drake. While Dennis was putting it on, he took a closer look at it. It looked so weird. He could not imagine getting even one fish with this. Dennis didn't know he minutes away from the greatest catch ever. It only took a few minutes before something started pulling on Dennis's line, and it started pulling hard. Dennis regained his composure just in time and started fighting the fish. This was bigger, heavier, and stronger than anything he had caught before. Dennis didn't want to admit it, but to get the fish out of the water, he needed Drake's help to steer the boat in the right direction. Drake didn't hesitate a second and jumped to the steering wheel. They were working together like they had been a duo for years. Dennis tried to hold on to his rod, but the monster was pulling too hard. Dennis didn't want to admit it, but he realized he couldn't do it alone. With Drake's help, he managed to reel in the final meters of line. After battling the monster for half an hour, they finally caught a glimpse of the horrifying creature. Drake quickly ran back to the steering wheel and sailed away. Minutes later, he realized Dennis wasn't on the boat anymore. He must have fallen off the boat when Drake let go of the rod. Drake quickly turned the boat around in the hope of finding his friend. Drake sailed back to where they were before, but there was no sign of Dennis. Drake started stressing out. Just when he was about to give up all hope, he saw something floating in the distance. It was Dennis. Drake quickly sailed towards him and pulled Dennis out of the water. He still wanted to chase the monster. They are way too invested to just let it go now. It's your fault we lost the monster, and besides that, you almost got me killed, Dennis yelled at Drake. They were determined to find the rod and the monster that was hopefully still hooked onto it. Dennis told Drake where he saw the rod a few minutes ago. They caught the rod and managed to get it out of the water. The line started racing again as soon as they got a hold of it. The monster was still hooked. After an hour-long battle, they got the monster to the surface. They couldn't believe their eyes when they finally got the beast out of the water. Dennis had to know what kind of creature this was, but when they tried to inspect the animal, all of a sudden, it bit Dennis, and it bit hard. Out of shock, he threw it back into the water, but it wasn't hooked anymore this time. Drake immediately called the Coast Guard. They told them to stay put and try not to panic. 
All available emergency services are on the way. After 30 long minutes, the Coast Guards arrived. Dennis has already turned completely pale. They told Drake that they won't get back in time if they traveled by boat. That's why an emergency helicopter is already on its way to get them to the hospital. The helicopter finally arrived. With the help of the Coast Guards, they got pulled up. Dennis woke up in the hospital and saw a policeman standing beside him. He looks at his arm, and surprisingly, everything is okay. But then, all kinds of thoughts and questions started racing through his head. What happened? Dennis and Drake had found a very rare fish species, and because there is no anti-venom for its bite, this is one of the most venomous fish on the record. But if there is no anti-venom, how did Dennis survive? The officer told him that he had gotten a blood transfusion from his friend. That blood transfusion saved his life. Dennis asked where Drake was, but the officer said there was no Drake, not even in the helicopter. The officer explained to Dennis why he was there. Dennis had made the discovery of the century, this fish has rarely ever been seen, and there are no survivors of its bite on the record. So Dennis got changed, and just as we were about to leave, he noticed a letter underneath the chair's pillow. And Drake explains everything in the letter. His actual name is James. He told Dennis that he was his long-lost brother and had been searching for him for years. James and Dennis were separated when their parents got divorced. Dennis was only two years old when they did, so he didn't remember anything from that time. Dennis got sent to his granddad, and James stayed with their birth mother. Their father wasn't in the picture anymore. Ever since James has been looking for Dennis, he always felt like Dennis was near. While their first meeting wasn't exactly smooth, he was grateful to have family through this traumatizing experience, and he hoped they would meet again one day soon.